İyi akşamlar. Ben Mary Jane. Is it good? So good. İyi akşamlar. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, this is Mary Jane. I'm gonna talk Turkish a little bit. Also, welcome to Turkey. <laughs> We are on the coast of the Mediterranean and I just spent two days, two weeks here. Two weeks here to visit my husband's family. Thank you, Ali, who is filming this video also. Mind you, mind you. <laughs> I learned some Turkish and I want to document my Turkish knowledge right now. So, iyakşamlar means good evening, but if it's morning, you say günaydın. If it's night, you are going to sleep, you say iyi Whereas if you just want to say hi, you say merhaba. Very easy, that's one everybody knows. To say thank you, very important word. If you are a foreigner in a country, you say teşekkürler. It's not an easy word, I know, but you can do it. If you're learning, if you're starting, teşekkürler, teşekkürler. My Turkish family and I had a lot of meals together. So I learned to say elina saluk. If someone else is cooking than me, I will say elina saluk, which means bless your hands, right? Hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a way to thank the person who prepared the food and that person will answer Afiat olsun, which means What does it mean? Buon appetito? Buon appetito. Buon appetito, we would say in Italian mm -hmm. uh, Enjoy your meal in English. But we say el desalic for anything artisanal also, for example. Oh really? Yeah. So yeah. it's like bless your hands, like bless your hands. Bless yeah. your hands that made this thing. This thing, yeah, yes. exactly. I like it very yes, nice elina really salak it's a great way to express gratitude to someone who made something for you right well, hmm? exactly what can we say bem means i and in order to say i am mm, paolo you say bem paolo very simple Ooh, the very first thing that i learned in turkish was from um, my husband's father because he was drinking soak kahve soak kahve <laughs> it means <laughs> cold coffee <laughs> and um, Ahmet, Ali's father, he doesn't speak any English so we e had to be able... except when he's drunk when he's drunk <laughs> with rake, by the way rake is the traditional liqueur of Turkey and If you're familiar with Greece, for example, I was more familiar with Greece. In Greece, it's called Uzo. I think it's more or less the same thing, right? Yeah. It's like anis. Anis. It's like anis liquor that you put water inside before drinking. Speaking of rake, I have to mention meze. Meze is like a. <laughs> we would say in Italian aperitivo, probably, but it's not the same thing, of course. It's a way of eating. That it's not exactly a meal it's more like snacking but it's a very traditional it's more it's almost like a ritual right ali mm, yeah That it's, it's pretty much food to drink rake. food to drink rake um which is this is interesting for who is not from the southern part of the world probably because i've, I've noticed that um there is a different way of drinking alcohol right so in the mm -hmm. northern part of the world uh, people tend to drink alcohol by itself Whereas, um, which is a Turkey, shame here in Turkey or also in Italy where <laughs> I come from, we always drink alcohol with some food on the side. Like it, it's not, it's not a nice thing to drink alcohol alone, right? I mean, if, unless you're partying, unless you're part, of course, if you're young and modern and partying, of course, you're going to drink alcohol just to get drunk. But we are talking about or if you're russian traditional habits <laughs> no offense to anyone russian <laughs> no but that's that's northern part of the world you see that's right okay so soap kave cold coffee sejak kave kahve because there is an h there in the middle uh if it's hot coffee uh the same with chai chai is the tea it's a, i think it's a very famous turkish word uh because turkish people drink a lot of chai so sejak Chai. You can also say sejak, sejak if it's very hot. For example, here in the southern coast of Turkey on the Mediterranean, this is end of July. 
um, we came here on vacation for Bayram, which is another Turkish word. Bayram is the annual biggest religious festivity of Turkish people. Yeah, religious That's holiday. It. Well, there's two of them, so one one of the two. Ah, okay. It's not Turkish. I think it's Islamic. Islamic. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Islamic. Um, but here in Turkey is one of the biggest ones. Mm -hmm. um, so that's Byron. It was very hot, 40 degrees. So it was chok sejak. Chok sejak is an expression that I've heard all the time these days here because it means very hot. Also chok is a word that I hear all the time when I hear other people speaking Turkish. It's, it's a whole chok chok chok chok chok chok chok chok. I don't know why. I still have to understand that. But it means it just means a lot or much, right? Yeah. yeah. If you want to say that something is just warm, you say ilik, a look, a look. Uh, this is something that English speaking people will have less difficulty with, and it's the uh, vowel uh. Um, for Italians like me, it's gonna be more difficult because we only have the sound e. But in Turkish, you have the sound E, which is the I with the dot, and you have an I without the dot that is red E. Uh. So, a look means warm. What you see behind me, the mountains are Dalar. <laughs> or Dalar. Dalar. Dalar. Lar is how you form the plural of words. Yes. You add an Lar or Ler, uh, depending on which word. That's why I asked if it was dollar yes. or dollar, but it's dollar. Dollar. It's similar to dollars <laughs> dollar. in American English. Yes. The only one mountain is dal. Very good. We say teşekkürler to say thank you, but you say lütfen to say please. So if you're asking something, it's nice to say lütfen. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to say, uh, excuse me, sorry, uh, maybe you hit someone, you say pardon. Mm -hmm. Which is probably French, right? Yes. We also say pardon in Italian sometimes. Pardon. But it's French. Yes. So, um, Aksham is the evening. That's why I said earlier, I Akshamlar. What's island, which we have one in the background? Oh shit. Whose name is an island? Ada? Yes. Ada. Yeah. Ada is island. And what I'm feeling right now is Meltem which is the breeze which, which is, is also a very common name yeah Ali's sister is Meltem yes so that's easy to remember for me what about my other sister Özlem yeah what's her, what's her name I it's more remember. it's more uh, dramatic Özlem means missing someone or something or something okay. or um, and Ege means also something princess Princess, oh my god, we have a nephew, nephew, we have a niece that is called <laughs> Eje and it means princess. Mm -hmm. She is really like a princess also. Yeah, she's so nice. She's very pretty, pretty and sweet girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah. which means? See? See, good evening, I'm able to say good evening. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> then I'm I know how to call a lot of foods because <laughs> that's what you learn if you stay here. You eat a lot. Um, your favorite? Your favorite? Your favorite. My favorite. Köfte? <laughs> <laughs> Fasulye. <laughs> oh, Fasulye. Uh, Köfte is meatballs, which they make with sheep meat usually, which I absolutely love sheep meat. Fasulye, green beans, soot, milk, un, flour. Su! Oh, su is water. Wait, su is water. So, um, soak su is cold water, for example. Salata is the salad, but salatalak is the cucumber. Yes. And tomato is tomates. Yes. Which is not tomates, but it's domates. That's, that's easy. That's the same in any language. Yeah, it's similar to English. Oh, paneer, paneer. Oh my God, you should see how much paneer the Turkish people eat for breakfast. <laughs> it's incredible for me especially because we don't eat paneer, which is cheese for breakfast. What do you eat paneer with? Oh, um, um, ekmek, Ooh. which is the bread. 
But you didn't answer my question. I eat cheese with egg milk. No, true. No, I mean Italians. With wine, I think. Oh, or it's... no, that's French. Oh. We eat cheese with everything. How little everything, I know about my wife's culture. <laughs> Yamurta. Yumurta. Yumur Oops. Yumurta. Yumurta are the eggs. Regeli is... Rechai. Huh? Rechai. Rechel. Rechel. Rechel is the gem and Gijek is the honey. Did I pronounce it right? Gijek? No. Gijek is, is the flower. Oh, shit. Okay, so, because it yeah, was because the label on, says on the jar of the honey. Yes, Gijek bale, which means flower honey. Which bale is, is ba. honey. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know that. But I know how to say butter, which is Terea. Terea, yeah? Terea. Terea. Yeah. French from where? Oh, Denise! Yes. Oh, yes, Denise is the sea. Mediterranean sea is Akdenis. Akdenis. Which Ak is kind of funny. It's funny. It's, Ak means white. Oh, you call it white sea? Yeah, I don't know why. Ah. It's really, really blue. Should I say pizza? I learned that pizza is pizza. Pizza. It's just that. In Turkish, you read the, the Z like a Z, so uh, they, they read pizza like the city of Pisa in Italy, in Tuscany. <laughs> well, <laughs> like we, the one with the crooked tower. <laughs> yes, actually, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's also a confusion in Turks. We call the tower Pisa, yeah. Pisa, like the, oh, uh, we thought... Patatas. Patates. Patates. Patates. Potatoes. Ah, the light is so beautiful right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We haven't showed who is holding the camera. <laughs> I also am obsessed with this. <laughs> manium. <laughs> Sorry. We've been eating a lot of manium, which in Turkish you would call magnum. Magnum. That's like a, that's like in English, right? Obur. <laughs> obur. <laughs> I know obur. It's one of the first words of Turkish that I learned. Yes, very Cause, good. Because because of my husband, of course. No, because we're, because we're both obur. Because she is obur. Oh, we need to explain in English what obur means. So if you are Italian, I have many Italian subscribers now. So obur means goloso. Goloso. Yeah, goloso, mm -hmm. uh, which Ali learned too. Yeah. Uh, but in English, there's no translation for that. We thought about it, and it's, it's someone who gluttony, glut, gluttony, I think. Uh, gluttony. Like, glut, gluttony. Gluttony. Gluttony. Okay, before the sun is setting, look, it's the last rays of sun of our last day of vacation in Turkey. Yes. Tomorrow morning we are taking the plane back to uh, our lives. Lives, yeah. Real life, back to reality. <laughs> yeah, to reality. We are seriously. leaving this, this, this heaven, the this, bay. This felt like I mean, complete paradise. <laughs> and this was, this was our villa here behind. These are the fine gentlemen that make this place nice and pretty. The gardens are incredible, as you the can see. The gardens are fantastic. And um, can, can we also say that this is not the entire Turkey like this? This is a luxurious resort. We are saying that. Yes. Which was not our choice, of course. Because no. If you follow my channel, you know that I much prefer other kinds of trips and other kinds of places. Hey, hey, mm. okay, we need to end this video mm. with a sentence that you said yesterday that I think it, it's uh, the perfect and funny description of Turkish mentality. What do you think? Oh my God, yes, yesterday yes. I wrote a song looking at my dad who was so sad because we are about to leave this place and the vacation is about to be over. And I looked at him and I said, you know, it, Turkish song would have written about this. I miss you when you're next to me. Would be a good line for Turks. Turkish mentality. <laughs> it's genius. It's genius. Quite I dramatic, romantic, and dramatic, but very dramatic. You know, drama. I miss you when you're next to me. I miss you when you're next to me. And it's perfect for your dad also. That's perfect for my dad. <laughs> Let's do this. We should have my dad here. Yes. <laughs> he should be in the video. <laughs> he should be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this was Mary Jane learning Turkish. I hope you had some fun 
I'm Italian by the way and Ali is Turkish but he's also American and I'm living currently in New York City with him. The Turks that have heard me saying something in Turkish have mentioned how my pronunciation is very good and it's not a case is because I pay a lot of attention to pronunciation and that's why I made a course for Italians of English pronunciation. You find the link in the description below if you're interested. Please people learn more pronunciation when you learn a language. That's all for today from the beautiful Mediterranean. I'll see you in my next video. Ciao ciao. Okay, I forgot. How you say yes and no in Turkish, this is hilarious. Every language has a simple one syllable name to say yes and no. In Turkish it's evet and hayır. Ama is but, ve is and, şeker is sugar, karpuz is watermelon, which we ate a lot. And also I can count one to ten. And it was not as easy as you might think to learn. I can assure you, it's bir. Iki, üç, dört, beş, altı, don't, altı, yedi, sekir, no, sekiz, oh, dokuz, on.